and welcome to my tutorial on adding more than one player to the NES Nestopia emulator. So first we'll begin by clicking on the emulator and under options you're gonna put, go to input. Now me right now I have two controllers connected so if you, you could add up to four people for the games that could play four players like uh, like Gauntlet and other games that are four players, you can add up to four controllers. So, as you add each controller, you pretty much do it here, and as you see, it says Joy 1, because that's my first controller, so now, so let me just set up, I'm going to just start all over. I'm going to set up my first controller, so you're going to click right here, you're going to skip this part, because these are the keys that you're going to push when it's here. So, for example, these are my two controllers. So, I only have two control, two connecting. So PA80 controller. You're gonna hit set all, and it's gonna say press any key or joystick. You got a couple seconds to press it, but left you press left. Up you press up. Right, down, uh, you press whatever you want to press for select. Start. Uh, the B button, the A button. If you want a rapid fire B, you can push that. Mm -hmm. If you want a rapid uh, A button. You could do that, and I always put a space bar for that because I never use it. So once that's done, you're gonna go to your you could and you could also put keyboard if you want. So for example, you go to pad two and mapping set all. So left you could put the left key on the keyboard, up, right, down. Uh, hit any button for select, any button for start. Uh, B A. I usually use Z and X. Auto fire the buttons right above it, which is A and S and space. So now that that's done, first player will be the controller. Second player will be the keyboard. Now, if you have another controller, you set up the first controller, then you go to the next controller, pad two, and you do the same thing. Set all. Left. You hit the left button. Up, you hit up. Right, down, select, start. The buttons for B, button for A, rapid fire B, rapid fire A, and space bar for that. So now you will notice that pad one is joystick one, pad two is joystick zero. It should be the other way around, but it's just the way it went in my computer. So if you hook up another controller, and you go to three, you could just, as you go, as you push the buttons on here, it'll say probably uh, say Joy 0, Joy 1, so it'll probably say Joy 2. Or, if you only have two controllers and you want to play three players, you find a game that has three players, pad one is the first controller, pad two, second controller, and pad three, you could just use the keyboard. Same thing, set all, you got five seconds to do it. And so left, left, up, right, down, select, start, B, A, rapid B, rapid A, and spacebar. So now you got three controllers hooked up. Pad one, pad two, and then pad three will be the keyboard. That's if you have only two controllers. If you got three controllers, four controllers, you pretty much go all the way through. One, two, three, four, all the way to and set them all up. So now that they're all set up, you go to your game and you open it up and let me find Gauntlet. Let's see if it uh let's see if it plays. And so you hit start. Oh. I guess God is only for two players. <laughs> so, but any game that has three or four players, which I know there's a few out there, uh, this, that's how you will do it. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment, and I'll try to do my best to make a tutorial on your questions. Thank you.